The benchmark results for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra are certainly impressive, showing a huge performance leap over the Galaxy S24 Ultra. A single-core score of 3,069 and multi-core score of 9,080 indicate a massive boost in both speed and efficiency, making it a strong competitor for any performance-heavy tasks, from gaming to multitasking. The fact that the iPhone 16 Pro Max still leads in single-core performance isn't surprising given Apple's focus on high single-thread efficiency, but Samsung's advantage in multi-core scores is notable. The return to a more rounded design for the S25 Ultra is an interesting move. While the angular design has been iconic for Samsung's Ultra models, a slimmer and more ergonomic design could enhance user comfort without sacrificing performance. As for the 12 GB of RAM, it's likely that Samsung will offer higher configurations for those who need more power, which has become a norm for flagship devices. Running Android 15 with the possibility of receiving updates up to Android 22 is a great sign for those who value long-term software support. The Qualcomm Octa-Core processor clocking at 4.19 GHz suggests top-tier performance, though the absence of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 might be a bit of a surprise to some. Nevertheless, it seems like Samsung is focusing on optimizing its hardware to deliver an even more powerful experience. What's your take on the return to a more rounded design and these performance gains? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. The latest leaks about the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra are definitely stirring up excitement, especially with the potential design tweaks. The shift to a more rounded design should indeed make the Ultra model more ergonomic. And while the camera layout may remain largely unchanged, it's worth noting that Samsung could still make significant camera upgrades under the hood, even if the overall configuration looks similar. The leaked case with six cutouts suggests that Samsung is sticking with its tried-and-true layout, which includes the laser distance meter and flashlight. Given the 200MP wide camera and optical zoom capabilities of the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the expectation for improved performance remains high, even if the design doesn't see a radical shift. The render comparison with the Galaxy S24 Plus highlighting thinner bezels and rounded corners suggests Samsung is refining the design language even further for the S25 Ultra. The increase in screen size to 6.86 inches while maintaining or even reducing bezel size is exciting for fans who want the most immersive experience. These leaks give a good glimpse of a phone that will likely maintain its premium status but add some refinements in comfort and usability. The January 2025 launch timing aligns with previous patterns, and it's great to see some consistency in how Samsung plans these releases. All in all, the Galaxy S25 Ultra seems like it's shaping up to be a solid upgrade, especially for those who value design improvements alongside powerful specs. What do you think of these changes? Do you prefer the rounded design, or are you hoping for more significant camera upgrades? Let me know in the comments.